if I could get 2,500 people here, he'd be walking on the bracelets today. Very good. He'd be what? Because we don't have enough people. Well, There's no reason why we can't get the numbers that they have in Virginia. I don't understand this. We have people that go back there to Virginia, of our own people, to help them, but nobody ever comes to help us. Any worthy people. Well, we're here. It's the rain. We are Virginia. <laughs> it's just yeah. more people got to get it in their heads. It's not about just our guns. It's about our grandchildren. It's the main thing. It's our future. Our future is going to disappear. We ain't going to have a job for you. It's a constitution, it's brother. It's a constitution. Right? I mean, that's what we're looking out for. God given exactly. rights. All of it. But they don't believe in the constitution. That's right. But some of them do, but not very many of them. They need to be ass. educated. They all think they're untouchable. The sheriffs think they're untouchable. The attorney generals, they're not. We can do citizen's arrest. We just got to have the numbers. Virginia screwed up. They had 30,000 plus people there didn't do shit. I don't understand it. I was inside the gate. Sorry for my friend. But you're doing good if there's nobody there to... So, thank you guys for coming out, and I've run March for our Rights and Allen. Some of you know me. I usually don't talk or speak or anything. So, um, I did talk to the newspaper today, though, and I told them, no matter what bills go through, no matter what gets banned, we'll still come out next year with whatever is, you know, quote-unquote illegal. So, at least I will. <laughs> so, right? So, I mean, I, I guess I spoke on behalf of you guys, but, you know, whatever gets banned, uh, they have a couple of hearings today for assault weapons and magazines. No, we don't. You got I'm nobody still going to bring yeah, whatever right? legal. So, we'll see mm. what happens. <laughs> and thank you guys for all coming out. And I know it's raining, and so... Speaking of rain, I got some ponchos if everybody needs them. You need to stay dry. Anybody need a poncho to stay dry? It's just water. No, man. It's not here that it will melt. Yeah, I know. I don't 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 know. When was that problem? Earlier today. Earlier today. Game on. Got my brother Ted to do the prayer for us. I the same last pitch. but the future generations. I even have my son here with me today to model to him why we need to be doing this, folks. A lot of folks 
Let's look at the Bible nowadays and they say, I don't even know if it's relevant. Maybe we should change it. And that's going for our Constitution as well. They're saying, I don't know if it's relevant. We need to change it. I talked to a person yesterday and they said, the folks in King County think that guns are only for killing their neighbors. They said, I don't want to kill my neighbor. I don't want a gun. But that's the media, folks. That's what's being pressed on people. And, and we need to get our message out clear, concise, and direct. And standing together is how we can continue doing that. I know some folks said, well, if it was dry, I might come out. You know what? Things happen when it's raining. We're Washingtonians. It's the evergreen state for a reason. And we're not melting. We're not snowflakes, like you said. So, as we continue this, please continue sharing the news. And like my sister said, it's unconstitutional what they're trying to pass. And we'll be back here next year. We will not be complying. Not my household. Not so, mine either. Not yours either. Hallelujah. So, as we march, as we pray, as we go and speak our words to those elected officials, I always say that elected officials, servants to the people, that's what they're supposed to do. That's what their oath said, and they're not abiding by that. They believe they're above the laws because they seem to think that they make the laws. Well, the people have voted here on numerous things, and they're choosing not to listen. And so I suppose it encourages us not to listen to them either. Remember this when you go to the polls. Your vote does matter. Please use your voice and your vote. One and only Creator, I thank you for today. I thank you for all of those that have gathered here today. Lord, I pray safety over everybody. The word is there's some silly people down the way. Well, we're not going to stand for that. Again, we're united, not divided. They can only pray on where they feel they can gang up on people. And that's not at all okay when patriots are around. Guide our footsteps, give our words levity, give our words direction to the elected officials, the servants to the people, and let us continue, 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 continue to do the work that's necessary to walk in our freedoms. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Back there for everybody together. Doesn't look like we're doing all that well. Huh?
Right. Well, I hope you're doing all that well. It's pretty tight to get this girl. Okay. totally understand where you're coming from, but the way that it looks and appears is, is if you look around, no one knows. It doesn't look like you're separate. It looks like one large group and one large staff. Okay. So that's, that's so what that's, I, that's like what, that's So if I told everybody, you know, we can separate and you can go wherever you want. Well, and, and then there's the Facebook at that site, right, where it's, it's looking to bring everyone together. So that's one. That's what we consider one event. Right. What's, so, your, what's your proposal? Um, I understand you're doing your job. Mom, I mean, no, I, 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 told, I totally understand. Wet. And, okay, and, and I appreciate your guys' understanding. So if you guys would like, I can definitely get that area reserved for you over at the fountain to make sure you have your guys' own space that you don't interfere with one event or that event doesn't interfere with what you guys are trying to do. So if you guys want to engage inside the building, I apologize. That's why I just want to make sure I connect with you, okay? All right, thank you so much. There are, what's the rule? No, no sticks, no sticks, you know nothing in your chamber, and your rifle has to be slung, pointing at the ground. Pistols have to be holstered, and no nothing in the chamber. This is what a tyrannical government does, they use sticks. What about concealed? Concealed spine. Okay. <laughs> slung, slung, not in hand. Pass that down if nobody else heard it, please. I know I don't talk a lot. Here, here, I, I think I'm going to go in. Okay. Thank you. Don't come in. Don't come in. We've got the representatives are on their way down, so they should be here momentarily. 
First month of fundraising, and I'm happy to announce it's going to be a shock throughout the Republican establishment. They think that what we say doesn't matter, and it does. And that's what we need to do now, is we need to bring back the people's voice. That's right. Yes. What we have, what we have right now, is a political class in the United States, and that is not okay. So we need all of us to bind together and tell them that we do not need a political class. We want representation of the people. Yeah. Yeah. All of the people. Everybody's voice matters, and despite what they say inside or say in King County, the people's votes matter. Yep. We wanted to recall Bob Ferguson, and we were not even afforded the opportunity to collect signatures. Why? Oh. What? Why were we not allowed to collect signatures on that? King wow. County King County Court says that the evidence was not sufficient after dismissing 60 pages of evidence. Come on. Who here voted for $30 card tabs? Yeah. 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 We're in court right now. Uh, has anybody received a bill since November for their card tabs? Got a oh, yeah. sticker on it. Does, yeah. Do any of them say $30? No. no. Same, that. same court blocked $30 card tabs. Oh. All right? The people voted for this. Your voice matters, and that's why we're here today. Use your voice. Let them know you want your vote to matter. Yeah. 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 Yep. Oh, is it ten people at a time? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Scott? Right there. Scott. Joey, your turn. You're up. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Joey, you're nice. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing now. All right. I just got I just got pulled out here to mix speech. <laughs> Guys, I had an opportunity. I know some of you guys had an opportunity to go to Virginia uh, the other week. It was an unbelievable experience for me because, number one, the media did everything they can to paint it as another white supremacist rally. Okay, but obviously there's tons of people that Second Amendment doesn't see color, doesn't see gender, doesn't see sexual, doesn't see anything. All it cares about is protecting your guys' right. Your guys... Is that mine? Oh, He's <laughs> <laughs> on a roll. Impromptu speeches do that. <laughs> Anyways, I was in Virginia the other week, and the, the thing that I got to experience, the unbelievable thing, is I'm seeing a surge in the Patriot movement. I'm seeing something that, that, that there's energy, okay? And they're trying to do everything they can to discourage you guys from showing up because when you show up in numbers, it, it doesn't lie, okay? They can't change the narrative. I went out to Washington, D.C. in the middle of an impeachment hearing, okay, and they had five handicapped people protesting against Trump, okay? My point is this, is that people are beginning to wake up. People are beginning to understand that our freedom is under attack. People are starting to understand that the media is the enemy of the people. If, if you guys saw, yeah, goddamn right they are. Listen, I have a lot of experience with, with the media lying and stuff, but when I saw what the media did to, um, to Matt Shea, and I saw the way that the Republican leadership worked with the media yeah. to lie about Matt Shea, to label him a domestic terrorist. You have to understand, when they labeled Matt Shea domestic terrorist, they labeled every single one of you as domestic terrorists because they want you guys to shut up. That's the thing that I've been trying, that, this is so important. We have to show up in numbers and we have to stand up and we have to support people like Matt Shea and damn it, we have to support Matt Marshall with everything that we can. He's got to take down JT Wilcox because he is the enemy of the Constitution, in my opinion. Can I get an amen? Amen! I have so much faith in, in Matt Marshall. I believe that he can win. I'm going to do everything I can to support with whatever he needs. I hope you guys can do the same thing. And I just want to personally thank you, Matt. I want to thank you so much for trying to take down this beast because apparently everyone's afraid of JT Wilcox. No. Matt Marshall, you afraid of JT? <laughs> nope. Hell no. <laughs> so support Matt Marshall, support Matt Shea, and I'm telling you, we have enemies inside the Republican Party and they're all at the top. Okay? They're all rhinos. What they did is they infiltrate, they infiltrate all the Republican parties, they get these people, they prop them up, right, and then they try to tear down all of you. 
Again, I'm going to say this about Matt Shea. He's one of the few representatives, and Matt Marshall will be the exact same way. Matt Shea is one of the few representatives that actually go went out to, to Bunkerville, right? He actually went out there. He is one of the only few representatives that went out to Idaho to protect the veterans' Second Amendment rights. He stood there on the front yard, and he told the feds to go get a warrant. He did his job as an elected official to protect the Constitution. J.T. Wilcox never done a damn thing to protect the Second Amendment. Right. In my opinion, J.T.'s got to go. we got to put Matt in. Who wants to? Walsh. Oh, don't worry. We don't need anything fancy. What we need is faces. And I see plenty of faces here. Remember, the, the battle is ongoing. The battle is constant. They're never going to let up, so we can never let up. It's not, you know, it'll be another rainy day and another rainy day and another rainy day. But it is our duty, it's our obligation to keep showing up. So don't be discouraged, don't be disheartened. I know you're not, look at you, you're here today. But don't be discouraged. It's, it's a good battle, but it's a constant battle. You know, we can knock down a few bad uh, bills, and we will, and we can knock down a few bad uh, people who write bills, and we will, at the ballot box. Um, we, can we can do some good things, but they will always be pressing against your constitutional rights. Why? Because it's power. She's right. It's about power. It's about control. It's not about the hardware. It's about their ability to tell you how to live. And remember, our state constitution is as strong or stronger than our federal constitution. Not only in its language about your right to keep and bear arms, but also in Article 1, Section 1, the very beginning of the state of Washington's constitution. And it reads, all political power is inherent in the people. Amen. And governments attain their rightful powers with the consent of the governed. Yeah. Yep. And govern those governments exist to protect and maintain individual rights. Yeah. Yeah. So don't let them tell you that your right to carry is some sort of collective right. In this state, it's an individual right. right. Yeah. Yeah. And with that right, of course, comes the individual duty on your part to do your part to protect yourself, to protect your family, to protect your property. And in doing that, you help create lawfulness and civility amongst all of the state of Washington. So don't think that you are an outlier. Don't think that you're unusual. Although some of you may be, I suppose. <laughs> you are not. You are an essential part of a civil society. Remember Robert Heinlein, the great sci-fi writer, said, an armed population is a polite population. Yeah. But, but this is true. This is the duty that you all do to all of us. By protecting yourself effectively, you protect all of us. You create a society that is lawful and civil and polite. So, so be confident in that. You're doing good. Don't let them tell you that, that you're not uh, qualified or that you're not uh, uh, you know, sort of certified, that you're not licensed. You don't need to be any of those things. The Constitution puts it on you as a member of our society to do your part to protect our civil and lawful order, and God knows you're doing that here today. Yeah.
So stay strong, stay focused, and stay happy. What you're doing is the right thing. Protect that lawfulness, encourage that lawfulness, and remind them that a free people is an armed people. A disarmed people are subjects. And I see no subjects here. God damn well, right. God bless you all. Be well and try to stay dry. Go and talk to your legislators. Get Okay, let's go inside and talk to your representatives. Let's leave all the sticks outside, your weapons unchambered, sling and hang into the ground. Keep your hands off and make them show, show them that we're nice right people, nice people.